All right, my brother, in this video, I'm going to talk about the seven signs that she might actually be toxic. And it's very important that we figure this out because the earlier we find out toxic behavior, the sooner we can get her out of your life instead of trying to remedy it. You never want to try to remedy toxic behavior. If this person is this way, realize she's a grown ass woman. She knows what she's doing and it's not your job to save her or try to teach her how to be a better person. So here we're going to go. We're going to talk about the seven signs of toxic behavior. Number one. She's never accountable for anything. She takes no responsibility. She's always the victim. And as such, bad luck always seems to follow her no matter where she goes. Her car gets broken into her. She loses her phone. Phone screen gets cracked. Somebody's screwing her over at work. Her boss doesn't like her. Her girlfriend, Stacy, just said that she doesn't like her anymore. She has a falling out with her family. She's a bad relationship with her. It's never ending. You're like, okay, she's having these problems in life. Maybe I can help her out. Maybe I can be be there for her and stuff. And that's cool and that's admirable, but the problem is, is now you're starting to put your entire life around her. And before you know it, everything's about her. Why? Because she has a never ending list of problems and she's always a victim. And when you try to bring this up that maybe she was a problem, she snaps your fucking head off. So you start noticing this kind of behavior. There's no point in having a discussion. Just break up with her and leave. The fastest way to get anybody obsessed with you is to give them fixed signals when they like you. So when you start dating a woman and you're getting all these mixed signals, one day she likes you, one day she doesn't, one day she's all over you, then she doesn't call you for a week and you're like, what's going on here? And you find yourself thinking about her over and over and over again and then you bring it up. Hey, I'd like to see you more. Just realize she's playing this game of mixed signals with you and she's trying to get you obsessed. Why? Because she likes the attention. And so if you're with somebody who does this, you're just not, you're just never gonna have the kind of relationship you want. Either she's just not that interested in you or you're just the best thing that she's got going on when all her other plans fall through. Don't be that guy. You wanna be the guy who she's all in with. It needs to be hell yes or hell no. When you come up with a woman who gives you mixed signals, realize one, she's either manipulating you or two, she's just not into you. Remember, a woman who likes you makes it easy. She will make herself available to you. She'll kind of orbit you socially in your social media platforms and stuff. She will be available to you. She will essentially open the doors for you to ask her and take the initiative and make it, make it happen. When the relationship is hard to get her attention, it's hard to get her on a date, hard to get her to do anything to spend time with you, realize that look at her actions, she's not that into you. Or she's giving you mixed signals to get you to manipulate you because she wants something from you. If she's jealous of other women, which is number three, Start looking, start looking out for this. A woman who's secure in herself, who's whole in herself, secure attached, she's not gonna get jealous of other women unless there's a reason she should be jealous. In other words, this other woman is actively flirting with you and you're just not noticing it or you're, getting, you're siphoning validation off of it and she's saying, hey, this is coming between us and I don't like this. But if she finds that she's jealous of other women all the time, like the, the ghost woman, like in other words, I don't like you going to the gym because I'm afraid of the girls that'll be there. Or I don't like you talking to your female coworkers because somebody might, hit on you or something. What she's saying is she doesn't trust that you have any control over yourself, which is ridiculous. Generally, if she's jealous all the time of other women, realize that this is how she sees other women. She sees other women, it's a projection. So if she thinks that other women are always trying to get you, most likely she's playing this game of always trying to get validation from other men. She starts accusing you of who you're dating or who you're talking to or who you might be entertaining, just realize that she's probably doing the same thing in some form or fashion. And it's a huge red flag. If you're a trustable guy and you're not trying to siphon validation off of other women, just set a hard boundary like, I'm not doing this and I don't, we don't need to have this conversation. Because again, she's a grown ass woman. It's not your job to make her feel safe in this regard. It's her job to deal with her own psychology and her own inner issues. Now, if she says, hey, I tend to get really jealous and I want you to know that that happens sometimes. So if I freak out, just realize that just, I'm just having a moment and just like, just be with me for a minute. That's different. This is a conscious person who's being aware of her feelings and just telling you what to know about ahead of time versus somebody who's coming in and just starts throwing accusations at you and making demands on who you act with and who you do it with. Nobody should do that. I don't care what your relationship is. Nobody can make demands of your time and attention on how you're interacting with other people. So some people, are very envious and envy is one of the more sinister human emotions. You'll find envy when let's say 
you feel like she doesn't really want you to succeed or she's competing with you excessively. Like a woman who supports you and loves you is going to be happy for your success. She's not going to compete with you and she's not going to get jealous when you win and she's certainly not going to sabotage it. So if you start seeing that she's starting to sabotage your behavior or your, your wins or she just can't be happy for you, realize you're dealing with an envious person and that really you're not in a relationship with her. You're in a competition and she really wants to secretly see you fail. And that will never be a kind of relationship where you can really open up and feel um, accepted by her. You're always going to feel judged and rejected on some level. So it's best to just eject as fast as possible. Now, some toxic people want to control where you go and where, why you go there and who you go there with. Because they falsely think that if they can control you, they'll feel safe. In other words, they're trying to get themselves to feel safe because they feel like you're going to abandon them or they feel insecure, they don't feel attractive enough, and they think that you're just going to be whisked away at any moment by somebody better than them. It's this sense for them of just not being enough. But when, instead of going within and trying to deal with it within themselves, what they end up doing is they go after you and they try to get you to change. I don't want you going to the gym. I need you home by now. Who are you talking to? Who are you texting? Give me the passwords to your phone. Let me see your email account, and they're going to do this over and over and over again. They're going to keep trying to control you more and more. And the more you capitulate, the more you demonstrate that you're just weak. And you may say, well, I just want to keep the peace. I just want to keep the peace. And in this situation, you need to collide hard, and you just set a hard no. Like, no, we're not going to do this. You cannot control me or my actions or where I go, who I spend my time with. It is not up for you to decide this. Now, with that being said, don't put yourself in stupid situations, right? Don't be hanging out with that woman after work that's obviously into you siphoning that validation off of her. Don't be untrustable. Be trustable in your heart and your actions. And then when this person comes and tries to control what you're doing and why you're doing it, then just tell them no. And then go do your thing. So if you're finding somebody that's really controlling, it's probably best that you start working on your extra strategy immediately. Look, brother, some women are going to push for you to spend money on them early on. They're going to come at you. They're going to say, I love you. You're awesome. You're everything I ever wanted. They're going to touch on you. They're going to tell you how great you are. They're going to stroke your ego. They're going to show you off to all her friends and family. And then her problems are going to come up and she's going to start asking you for money. Usually going to start by complaining that she doesn't have enough money to buy tires for her car or that she doesn't have enough for her bills. And before you know it, you're paying one bill to the next, to the next, to the next. That kind of manipulation is called the foot to door technique. But they get you to do one thing so they can get you to do all the things. And they just get, it's a slippery slope going through all of these things. Now, when a woman does this, she's trying to get you to pay for shit for her right early on. Realize you're doing marriage material to somebody who's just a girlfriend. Never treat a girlfriend like your wife. Your wife, of course, you're going to share expenses. Of course, you're going to buy her things. Of course, you're going to do all these things of your time and attention. But if she's not your, your wife, don't treat her like one. Treat her like a girlfriend. And girlfriends are always being vetted to see if they truly are who they say they are. We look at her by her actions, not by her words. Then the last one is that she's going to try to move the relationship really fast. And this is a big red flag with toxic behavior. They'll try to push the relationship as fast as they can because they know that the faster they can get you hooked, the faster they can extract from you. The more they get you hooked where you're like, this is my girl, I'm going to marry her, she's amazing. Then she can start inserting all the bullshit and start telling you how awful you are. And the only way to get back to where you were, that awesome place, is by doing things for her. By giving up your phone, by getting rid of all your female friends, by giving her money, by what, insert whatever the ever moving goalpost is. And once she does this, it's again, it's the foot the door technique. It's a slippery slope for, you know what? All of your life is revolving around her. She has endless amount of problems. She's got endless amount of money she needs. And it's just a black hole of your time and attention trying to get back to that massive, that amazing honeymoon phase that you just can't seem to ever get back to. Just realize this is by design and this is a toxic manipulative person. You need to end it immediately. All right, brother, that was the seven signs of a toxic woman early on. If you can find out early on that this woman's toxic, you can end the relationship immediately. And trust me, you cannot make this better, nor should you. It's not your job to fix a woman's psychology or to be her savior or white knight. Remember, the knight dies for the princess, and then she goes and gets with a prince when, who becomes a king. Don't be a knight. Be a king. If you like this video, hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the bell if you want to be notified the next time I make a new one. Thank you.